Hello everybody, uh, my name is Terror Watcher, and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. Uh, for a couple of months now, I've been tweeting pretty frequently about the Terra ecosystem, so I figured it was about time to make a YouTube channel and start producing videos about the Terra ecosystem. Um, I'm really fascinated by everything that's going on with the Terra project, and it takes up a lot of my time, so, you know, I think it's appropriate that I start making some videos. Um, <laughs> so in this, my inaugural video, I want to talk about liquidity bootstrapping pools. Uh, I, wa I want to talk about them in general, but uh, I also want to talk about the history of LBPs in the Terra ecosystem. Uh, so the reason I'm going to talk about it is that Nebula Protocol, which you can see right here, is going to be having an LBP on April 27th. So, you know, it's uh, it's a timely time to talk about LBPs. Uh, one thing I want to point out before we get started talking about LBPs, uh, if you're not aware, I just want to let you know that Nebula Protocol is going to be a very significant, very high quality protocol uh, in the Terra ecosystem. It's being developed by TFL Labs, which made uh, such protocols as Anchor and Mirror, and they even designed the entire uh, Terra blockchain. So these are all first party apps, they are all, uh, these two are very significant and Nebula is also going to be very significant with a very high quality. Uh, you should definitely check it out. But this video isn't exactly about Nebula, it's about LBPs. So the Nebula liquidity bootstrapping pool is going to be on April 27th, it's going to last for 5 days until May 2nd. Uh, the initial price of NEB token, which is the governance token for Nebula, is going to be 245. The initial pool composition is going to be 20 million NEB and 1 million UST. So what exactly is a liquidity bootstrapping pool? Well, uh, if you've never, if you don't have any experience with them, then basically a liquidity bootstrapping pool is a lot like an AMM liquidity pool. You can buy from it or sell into it. Uh, the only difference is uh, the two assets in the pool are not weighted 50-50. Uh, the weight is going to start uh, very low for NEB and very high for UST, and then the NEB weight is going to be increased, the UST weight is going to be decreased, and that's going to make the price of NEB automatically float down. So there will be buying and selling uh, going on in this liquidity pool, and that is going to affect the price, but in general, the price is going to follow this curve. This curve. So the price of NEB is going to start up here at 245, and it's going to be floating down. And over the course of five days, it's going to basically trace out something like this curve. And when the price gets to your desired target, whether it's two dollars or 150 or one dollar, you can buy in. Now. Uh, there is going to be buy and sell pressure that's going to distort this uh, curve a little bit. As you can see, this is uh, what the liquidity pool mechanism would do if nobody were interacting with the LBP so without any uh, buy or sell orders. There are There is going to be buy and sell pressure, uh, but the curve is still going to roughly resemble something like this. Uh, it's impossible to know how low it will get because at a certain point, a lot of buy pressure is going to kick in and keep the price from going too low. Um, uh, this has happened uh, three other times in the Terra ecosystem. Uh, there have been three liquidity bootstrapping pools. Later in the video, I'll show you charts of those three LBPs to show you how the price discovery went. Uh, that'll be later in the video. But first, I want to talk about this weight mechanic, because uh, in my opinion anyway, I think if you're going to get involved in something in crypto, like an LBP, you should know how it works. So I'm going to explain to you how the LP, the LBP actually works. Uh, uh, what is the mechanic that is actually reliably going to decrease the price of NEB uh, in a gradual manner over the course of five days? And that mechanic has to do with the weight. So let's talk about weight uh, in uh, an AMM pool a little bit. So if you're over on Astro, uh, on Astroport, say, and you're interacting with the uh, the Luna UST pool. Well, if you put X value into one side, you're going to be taking X value out of the other side, right? Because in that pool, the total value 
is divided into two halves. So the Luna in that pool makes up one half of the total value, and the UST in that pool makes up the other half of that total value, because each side is weighted at 50%. So that's how a standard AMM pool works. With an LBP, the weight is not going to be 50-50. The weight is going to start 2 to 98 NEB to UST. So initially, the value of the NEB in the pool is going to be suppressed, and the value of the UST in the pool is going to be amplified. Let's look at what I mean by that. So uh, this is going to be the composition of the LBP. So when it starts on April, 20, uh, April 27th, there's going to be 20 million NEB in there, and there's going to be a million UST. So if this were a standard uh, liquidity pool on Astroport, you you'd be able to calculate the NEB price and it would be five cents, right? Because if these are both weighted at 50%, you divide the UST by the NEB and you get five cents. However, the price isn't going to be five cents to start. In this LBP, the price is going to be 245 to start. It's going to be 20 million NEB and 1 million UST, but the price is going to be 245. So how does that work? It works because the NEB is going to be weighted very low, and the UST is going to be weighted very high. So if you want to figure this out with calculations, all you have to do is multiply the NEB in the pool by 2% and the UST in the pool by 89%. So if you do that, uh, this is the composition, you multiply it based on the weight, and you get this. So this is going to be the composition to start, but this is how it's going to feel. This is how this is what the value is going to be after it has been weighted. So 20 million NEB is going to be reduced in value to the value of basically 0.4 million NEB. 1 million UST is only going to be reduced a little bit to the value of 0.98 million UST. That's what the weight function is going to do to this pool. And so uh, this is going to have this is going to be how it feels right when you interact with it so if you take this ust right here divide it by the nib that's how you get the price 245 so now that you understand weight i want to tell you that the weight is going to be shifting so the weight is going to start 2 to 98 nib to ust but then gradually over the 5 day duration of this lbp the uh, NEB weight is going to be increasing and the UST weight is going to be decreasing. So here's where it's going to start, 2 to 98, and then it's going to gradually shift to 60 to 40 NEB to UST. And the way it goes is the higher the weight, the lower the price. So as the weight of NEB increases from 2 to 60, the price of NEB is going to decrease. Okay? So I'll show you how that works in just a moment. I'll show you an interesting table, but basically, just keep this in mind. The weight of NEB is going to increase by 58 points over five days. And this is what's going to happen. So first of all, this table assumes that nobody interacts with the LBP. Of course, there will be people buying from it and selling to it, but just to understand how the mechanism works by itself, let's take a look at this table so this table is just the mechanism so what i've done is i've divided the uh the five day period into six uh, into 20 six hour periods it, just to make the rows on this table so every six hours uh, gradually every six hours the weight of neb is going to increase by 2.9 points so Again, this is where this is just, a, just this is just assuming that nobody interacts with the pool, and if that's the case, the composition is going to stay uh, 20 million NEB to 1 million UST. So the composition stays the same, but the weight is going to be changing, and that is going to change the price. So as you can see, the weight of NEB is going to be going up by 2.9 points every six hours. The weight of UST is going to be going down by 2.9 points every six hours because it's a zero sum game. And this is the weight adjusted composition. So the composition of the pool is going to stay the same, but it's going to feel different as the weight changes. And as you can see, as the weight of NEB increases, the value of NEB is going to be increasing. Because the weight starts very low, which suppresses the value of NEB, 
and the UST weight starts very high, which amplifies the value of UST. But as the weight for NEB increases, the value of NEB in the pool is going to increase. Even though the composition stays the same, the value is going to be increasing. And what do we know about AMM pools? Like, just think, think about the standard Luna UST pool. If you put a lot of Luna in there and increase the value, and you're taking out UST and decreasing the value on the UST side, the price of Luna is going to go down, right? You put lots of Luna in, the price of Luna goes down. That's essentially what's happening here. Although the amount of NEB is staying the same, the value of NEB is going to be going up because the weight is going up, and that is going to decrease the price, okay? Because it's inversely correlated. Weight and price are inversely correlated in an LBP. So, as you can see, in this column right here, the price is going to start at 245, and then right at the beginning, it's going to drop precipitously. It's going to drop by more than $1.50 in the first six hours. This is just assuming nobody interacts with the pool. So it's going to drop, and then the rate of decrease is going to level off. And it's going to give you something like this. So again, this is the second time I'm, so I'm showing this graphic, but... Um, Without anybody interacting with the pool, you're going to see something like this. Now, there are going to be people interacting with it, buying and selling, and uh, I'll show you I'll show you what happens when people are buying and selling into these pools. So, let's take a look at the history of LBPs uh, in the Terra ecosystem. So, this is significant because if you want to know the future, you got to look to the past. So that's what we're going to do right here. If you want to participate in the Nebula LBP, if you want to play this LBP and maybe do well, <laughs> hopefully you want to do well, um, let's try and learn some lessons from the past. So we can learn lessons from the Whale LBP, the Angel LBP, and the Local LBP, which all happened in the Terra ecosystem. So here's the Whale LBP. It happened over the course of three days back in December of 2021. So you can see, because the weight of whale was being increased, the price of whale was falling. So here, the price automatically fell. Sorry, the price automatically fell on, uh, uh, um, according to this kind of curved pattern. But the buying and sell pressure, which you can see here in green and red, uh, distorted that smooth curve. So the price fell, and then people thought, well, it's kind of fallen far enough, so I'll buy. And you can see the buy pressure really ramped up, and it became a bit reflexive, and lots of people bought in. There was also lots of selling, and then, and then there's always, like in these LBPs, there's always down pressure on the price, because due to the mechanism, the price is always going to automatically go down. If buy pressure can counteract the the automatic down pressure, the price will go up, but in absent in the absence of buy pressure, as you can see here, the buy pressure levels off, so the price is going to resume its downward trend because it's automatic. But uh, there was a bounce toward the end. Uh, let's move on. The Angel LBP went the same way because that's how these things go. The price fell on this curve because the weight of Angel was increasing, therefore the price was falling. At a certain point, people decided to buy in. There was extreme buy pressure uh, right here, which counteracted the automatic down pressure, and it went up, but then it fell down some more with a little uh, bounce at the end. And the same thing with local. So again, the weight of local is being increased, so the price is falling. At a certain point, people think, well, yeah, this is a good price, I should buy in. So they buy in, that buy pressure counteracts the automatic down pressure, you get a little bounce, but then it, it continues its downward trajectory. So that is how LBPs work in the Terra ecosystem. So here are your patterns, okay? These things happened three times in a row. They're probably going to happen the fourth time, right? When the Nebula LBP launches on April 27th, these patterns are probably going to repeat. So what's going to happen? What happens here? There's always a rapid, there's always a rapid uh, plunge at the beginning, and then it reaches a trough, and there's a bounce, and then, this is interesting, this happened three out of three times. After the bounce, the price fell 
below the original trough. And then there were some gains at the end. So let's look at those three charts one more time. And you can see these patterns for yourself. Okay. A plunge, a trough, a bounce, the price goes below the original trough, and then a bounce. Same thing again. It falls, a trough, it bounces, it goes below the trough, and then another slight bounce. And again, with local, uh, local received the uh, lowest amount of participation <laughs> out of all three uh, LBPs that have been held so far in the ecosystem, but it's still the same pattern, right? It falls, it reaches a trough, it bounces because people think it's time to buy in, and then the price levels off, and then it goes up a little bit there at the end. So there you go. Hopefully, now you understand liquidity bootstrap uh, strapping pools in general. You understand that they're for distributing token and uh, raising capital. Hopefully, you understand the weight mechanic. You understand how the weight starts very low for the asset being distributed, and then that, that weight is automatically gradually increased, and uh, the price is inversely correlated to the weight, so the price is going to gradually go down uh, very fast at the beginning and then slower. I've also shown you the history of LBPs uh, in the Terra ecosystem, so maybe now you have a leg up when, when you participate in the Nebula LBP, which is on April 27th. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> that was my first video on YouTube. How did I do? Um, all right, I want to pitch my channel a little bit now, so uh, I have zero subscribers. Very sad, so maybe you, you, yes you, maybe you can be my very first subscriber. Um, on this channel, I'm going to pretty much replicate what I do on Twitter. Uh, I'm going to keep tweeting, but I'm also going to make videos simultaneously. So I want to give you practical knowledge, you know, practical, uh, actionable information that you can use to your own advantage, which is great. Uh, but I also want to give you the technical information that underpins that practical knowledge, because I think, in my opinion anyway, uh, I am not really in the aping in camp. I am more so in the uh, studying, observing, lurking, watching, and understanding, and then participating camp. That's what I think you should do when you're playing around with crypto. And I've been playing around with crypto for a while. Um, so I'm going to provide you with lots of technical information because I think people need to know the the mechanics, the background about what they're actually doing. And I'm also going to provide some big picture stuff. Like I said, I've been in crypto for a while. I've been thinking about this decentralization business, all this stuff for a while. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be about Terra, though. I am the Terra watcher, so it's not going to be about Ethereum or anything else. Just Terra. So if that interests you, maybe you can subscribe. Oh, one other thing. Uh, uh, if I can ask a favor of you, <laughs> uh, go back to Twitter and maybe like the um, the little tweet that I included this video in so it gets more traction, more visibility. Uh, I want as many people to be exposed to my YouTube channel as possible so they can at least decide whether or not they like me. I, mean, I hate when my tweets get buried. Yeah, so if you could do that for me, go back and uh, like the tweet that I put this video in. That'd be great. Anyway, I'm Terra Watcher. This was my first video. I hope you liked it. And uh, so long. <laughs> Until next time.